Hey everyone, today we're going to be multiplying fractions. It's actually pretty simple, I would even say easier than adding and subtracting fractions. You'll pick it up really easily, let's go. Say we want to multiply these two fractions, 1 over 3 and 1 over 5. We are going to take the numerators and multiply them. So 1 times 1 equals 1, and this is going to be the numerator of our answer. Next, we're going to take the denominators and multiply them. 3 times 5 equals 15, and this is going to be the denominator of our answer. That's actually it. You've multiplied two fractions. Now, the next couple questions are going to get a little bit harder. Let's try 1 over 4 times 2 over 3. We'll do the same thing. Just take the numbers in the numerators and multiply them. So 1 times 2 equals 2. This is the numerator of our answer. Then let's multiply the numbers in the denominator. 4 times 3, which equals 12. And this is the denominator of our answer. Now, we're not quite done with this one yet because the answer can actually be simplified because both the numerator 2 and the denominator 12 is divisible by 2. So let's divide both numbers by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. 1 over 6 is our final answer. Okay, let's do another one, but with bigger numbers. 16 over 5 times 3 over 4. This looks like a nightmare of a problem, but instead of trying to multiply 6 times 3 over 5 times 4, we can actually use something called cross-cancellation to make this problem a lot easier. Basically, we can check if any one of the numerators and any one of the denominators have a common factor. In other words, we need to see if any numerator is divisible by the same number as any denominator. For example, you'll notice the numerator 16 is divisible by 4, and the denominator 4 is also divisible by 4. So using cross-cancellation, we can simplify the numbers before we even multiply the fractions. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now let's multiply with the simplified numbers, and you'll notice it's a lot easier this time around. 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 1 is 1. So that is our answer, 12 over 5. And if you want, or if your teacher wants, you can write this as a mixed number, where 5 goes into 12 two times, so that's our whole number, and 2 is left over. So our answer as a mixed number is 2 and 2 fifths. All right, let's do a final challenge problem. This time we have three fractions. Our approach is going to be the same where we can multiply all of the numbers in the numerator to get the numerator of our answer, then multiply all of the numbers in the denominator to get the denominator of our answer. However, we can use what we just learned about cross multiplication to make this problem a lot easier for us. We're trying to find if any numerator and any denominator can be divided by the same thing. Or in other words, if any numerator or denominator share the same factor. Well, you'll notice that the numerator 4 is divisible by 4, and the denominator 12 is also divisible by 4. So we can simplify. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now, you'll also notice something else 
that the numerator 9 is divisible by 3 and the denominator 3 is also divisible by 3. And yes, we can use cross-cancellation more than once in the same problem, so let's simplify even further. Now, this looks a lot easier, so let's multiply our three fractions. Multiplying our numerators, we'll get 1 times 1 times 3, which equals 3. And for the denominators, 3 times 1 times 7 is 21. Now, we can actually simplify even further because both numbers are divisible by 3. and we'll get 1 over 7 as our final answer. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.